Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninen, and for today's video, we're going to be doing another sunscreen review. Today we're reviewing the Suncut UV Perfect Gel Super Waterproof in SPF 50 plus. It is a PA of four plus. I have already done a review on Suncut. I reviewed the blue bottle. I don't remember what it's called, but I have a full review of that on my channel. And today we'll be talking about the gold bottle, which is their super waterproof formula. Okay, so the active ingredients in here are octanoxate, polysilicon 15, Uvenol A+, and Tinasorb S. So one thing I found weird about the way that this is marketed, um, they don't really give away what the percentage of each of the filters is in here, so it's hard to say. My assumption is that if a product is on the market and it hasn't been recalled yet, or the brand hasn't come out with a statement or whatever, I'm going to assume that the SPF claim and the PA claims on here is what is in here so they're claiming that it's an spf 50 plus and a pa of four plus so i guess we're gonna go with it some of the other highlighted ingredients in here it has chamomile flower extract clematis extract sycamore extract horsetail extract lots of extracts in here i'll put them all up here on the screen it also has sodium hyaluronate and squalene there's alcohol in here and I will say that there's alcohol in a lot of Korean and Japanese sunscreen, so that's kind of expected. Um, I personally didn't have any issues with the alcohol. I didn't feel like it was drying, irritating. I think just some of the other ingredients in there sort of balance out the alcohol so you don't get as much of the drying effect. This doesn't really smell like anything to me personally. There is alcohol and you can sl ever so slightly smell it, like barely. <laughs> and it definitely dissipates and it becomes pretty much fragrance free. Let me show you guys the texture of it. It goes on sort of like a, I don't know, would I consider this like a serum? It goes on sort of like a smooth, watery type gel. Definitely feels more like a serum to me, and it does rub in completely and dries down rather quickly in my opinion. See, it's gone. Some of the claims on here, it says that it's a waterproof and sweat resistant sun gel that comes in a lightweight but highly effective formula that fends off UV rays while coming off with proven skincare benefit. Slather on for a protective and hydrating boost. I picked this one up from YesTyle. Right now it's retailing for $11.52 and you get 100 grams. So as always, I tested this one out with my bare skin, with a moisturizer, and with makeup. And spoiler alert, I loved it in every single form. <laughs> um, I will start out with my favorite way to wear it though, and that is on its own. So I wore it on with bare skin, um, nothing underneath, no products, no moisturizer, no nothing. I just kind of applied it and let it dry. As you guys will see, it goes on very easily. There's not a whole lot of rubbing to do. I would almost like recommend spreading it out completely on your face and then just leaving it alone to dry. On my bare skin, it looks really good. Uh, it doesn't even, it doesn't really look like I have much of anything on. I'd consider it kind of like normal to matte, but leaning more towards the normal side, um, where it does look like, you know, you get a little bit of a normal finish, but it's also like smoothing <laughs> as well. It's hard to describe. I mean, you let me know how you would describe this finish. To me, this is normal to matte. I wore it for two hours and came back. And as you guys will see, there is not really a big difference from the zero hour mark to the two to three hour mark. For me, I have oily skin and usually I'm very oily in my T-zones and there's barely anything there with this. So I love that it is pretty oil controlling in my opinion. I know a lot of us are going towards the glow these days, but if you don't like that, I think this is a good option. It's not glowy. Um, it just leaves you kind of like neutral, you know? I reapplied this one and with reapplication, it went on pretty much just as nicely as the first application. So really nice to reapply and layer on the go. Since you don't have to do a whole lot of rubbing, I think this is one that I would grab if I like quickly need to reapply while I'm in the car or somewhere and I don't have time to rub and let things set. Um, so reapplication works out really well for this. So day one, I really enjoyed the my overall experience with it. You can definitely wear it on your on its own if you have oily skin. Um, but I also wanted to test it out with a moisturizer for those of you who have more dry skin, normal to dry skin, and you need something else underneath. It applies pretty nicely with a moisturizer. I didn't experience any pilling, um, nothing, no pilling, no breakup, nothing at all. It goes on very smoothly with a moisturizer. So if you're someone that's looking to layer, this is a great option. It doesn't feel too heavy to have like two layers of something on. Um, 
since this is so lightweight, so I would definitely recommend using this to layer on top of a moisturizer. I wore it for three hours um, with the moisturizer and came back, and as you guys will see, I do look a little bit glowier than I did with bare skin. And then I also reapplied with it, and no issues at all with reapplication. It goes on pretty easily. It spreads out pretty nicely. It doesn't feel any heavier or stickier or anything like that. So really love the finish of this one. One thing that I didn't like about the wear of this is when I put it on like my um, chest area, like sometimes I wear stuff like this and I need <laughs> to put sunscreen there. Usually I use like a separate sunscreen for my body. I just grab whatever is like affordable and cheap and whatever I have, but I decided to apply this on my body and I found that with um, my like the fabric of my clothing rubbing up on it, I did start to get sort of like a weird, like grainy feel. I wouldn't necessarily say it's pilling, but it definitely felt like there was some like residue here. So I don't think I would recommend this to wear like on your body or where you have other things rubbing up on it. My face, nothing really ever touches it, so I don't get I didn't get that feeling at all, but on my body where I had clothing or other things or just like me touching, I started to feel a little bit of residue, so just keep that in mind. The last day I wore this, I wore it with makeup and it just works beautifully. Like it's just so lightweight and it's so, it goes on so smooth that when you put your makeup on, there's really no extra issues. I feel like my makeup looked really good. It wasn't glowy, it wasn't matte. It was just like, it just looked the way I wanted to look <laughs> with a sunscreen underneath. So. I went ahead and I applied my sunscreen put the makeup on top and that's what it's looking like So I'll insert a clip of what it looks like after three hours and as you guys will see it looks amazing <laughs> Just beautiful. I also decided to reapply this one on top of makeup because this is I think like the gel type watery milky sunscreens are the perfect types of sunscreens to put on top of makeup when you want to reapply. If it's more of like a lotion, I tend to not really enjoy that as much, but this is like the perfect type. So I'm showing you guys what it looks like to reapply over makeup. And I didn't have any issues with reapplying over makeup. I feel like it went on pretty much just as quickly and easily. I didn't do any rubbing. I did more of like a patting motion just to get a nice layer on and then I left it and let it dry. And and it worked out fine. So if you're looking for a sunscreen to reapply over makeup, um, or just a sunscreen to reapply in general, this is a really good option. Okay, so let's talk about my overall thoughts. I really enjoyed my experience with this sunscreen. I think it works really well and it'll be one that I'll be reaching for more in the summer. If you're someone with oily skin, I would definitely recommend this one for you. If you have more dry skin, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this for you unless you were applying like a nice rich moisturizer and then put this on top, um, but on its own, you probably won't like it for your dry skin. If you have normal skin, I feel like you can kind of make it work. If you need more moisture, put a moisturizer underneath, and if you don't, then just wear it on its own. For people with acne prone skin, I didn't experience any breakouts from this. Um, no irritations either if you have sensitive skin. And as far as the waterproof claims, let me just say that there really isn't a sunscreen out there that is waterproof per se, but there are water resistant sunscreens. And this is definitely more water resistant. And then if you wanna wear it with makeup, no issues with makeup either. And lastly, as far as eye irritation, I did experience some slight stinging with this when I was careless with how I applied it. But the days that I put it on and just tapped on top of my eye and then set it down with a powder, I didn't have any issues with it. I also have very sensitive eyes, so I don't think I'm like the best judge of if something burns your eyes. But for my eyes, it wasn't burning, but they were sensitive. Um, that being said though, I didn't feel like it was like running into my eyes and that's probably because of the water resistant properties in here. So when I was like sweating or getting more greasy, I didn't feel like it was leaking into my eyeballs. It did sit in place. Um, you just have to be careful. So I think this is a great option for the summer months. Like I said, I will definitely be reaching for this more. Um, and I just had an overall pleasant experience with it. No real issues. Um, and I think it's a great option for people who are looking for a good summer sunscreen. So that is it for today's video. If you guys have tried the Suncut UV Perfect Gel sunscreen and you loved it, let me know. If you tried it and you absolutely hated it, also let me know. We don't all like the same things. If you have any sunscreen recommendations, don't forget to leave them down in the comments section below. And I'll be seeing you guys all in the next one. Bye.